My name is Miss Science Nodal, and I am very honored to be a host of the show. As you can tell, I am the smartest person of the show, and I can I will tell you everything about Huddle today. And my name is Mr. Art is Everything, and I'm very happy to be as a host today. It's such a lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> today we will be discussing this Hoar Kedong Hanok. It is located in the center of Gokchon Hanok village, the place that is becoming one of the most important tourist attractions with more than one million visitors each year. I will uncover the amazing science behind Hoar Kedong Hanok, which makes Hanok a perfect example of our scientific excellence. Ugh, oh, enough with the boring stuff. Hanok is an epitome of Korean beauty, and the Seoul Gerong Hanok is not only the center of Bokchan Hanok village, but also a symbol of beautiful Korean lifestyle. This is what makes the Seoul Gerong Hanok a perfect place for a selfie for any tourist. In fact, last year, more than 9,000 people visited the Seoul Gerong Hanok to eyewitness and embrace the beauty of Hanok. Thank you, Mr. Art. But before we move on to the pretty little details, let me first tell you about the brief history of Seoul Kedong Hanok. The Hafsa traditional Korean architecture that was built in 1921 back in the Joseon dynasty. It was remodeled in 2002 as a modern huddle and became registered as cultural property number 229. Currently, it is used as a Bokchon cultural center to provide various cultural experiences. Let me show you some evidence of Korean beauty. Please take a look at this beautiful picture. Look at the colors, the elegant curves, and the craftsmanship. The elegant curves line is perhaps the most significant element in Hanok. Our ancestors used both Amkiwa and Sukiwa, meaning female and male Giwa, to create this unique curve. Also, the patterns created by thousands of Giwa is simply a piece of art. Mm -mm. Don't know whether it's a piece of art, but I can tell you this Giwa roof is a work of science. Korean Kiwa roof is made from sand and clay, and most importantly, it can breathe. This means that when the weather is humid, it absorbs the humidity to release moisture, just like a humidifier. Also, the curved lines allow the roofs to contain air and protect the house from harsh external weather conditions. Hmm, I didn't know that, but I have another one. What do you think? I bet you would agree that it's a piece of art this time. This is called Changho, the traditional doors. Look at the contrast between natural wood and natural paper. The materials are all natural and handmade, but still very orderly. I can see Mandarin in this. The patterns created by thin, solid wooden beams are beyond my words. Uh, excuse me? Did you say you see Mandarin? Yes, Mandarin. Well, I see Edison here. The paper that was used to seal the doors are called Changhoji. Tanghoji is made with paper mulberry tree fibers. It was a very smart way to contain daylight while walking outside weather when people didn't have a light bulb or anything. Also, just like Kiwa, it also breathes and is a perfect material to control humidity. Both light and humidity were essential factors for quality of life back in the days. Hmm, you know what? I hate to admit this, but there was so much science behind Hanok and the Seoul Gerong Hanok. I'm very glad to learn about it. To be honest with you, I now see a totally different side of Hanok. I don't know why I didn't realize that Hanok is so beautiful. I think I'm going to take a selfie right now in front of Seoul Gerong Hanok for my profile picture. I'll join you. I think we can all agree that Hanok is not only a beautiful and elegant architecture, but also an excellent scientific example of our ancestors. As more and more people around the world are coming to see this, I believe our job as a Korean citizen is to really understand our heritage and preserve our wonderful cultural assets to share with the world. Thank you all for being with us today, and I hope to see you all again at Seoul Kedong Hanok. Thank you.